But she's breach. How's work? Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Dan wants to move up the release, and we are nowhere even close to finishing. Uh huh. <laughs> so, uh, why are you all downward dog in the middle of the kitchen floor? I'm trying to get her to flip. By being upside down. The midwife says it works sometimes. Is that, is that safe in your condition? Or? I'm sure women in India do yoga even when they're in labor. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? I don't remember. I'm sure it's true, though. <laughs> All right, if you say so. Coming up for air anytime soon? Almost done. <laughs> do you need any help? Part of your yoga practice, too. Midwives said maybe shy away from anything cold. It's definitely chilly. Here, touch. She also said they love bright lights, but couldn't figure out a way to hold a flashlight in that part. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, though. You know, you can use a carrot and a stick and write even a stick. She's not even born yet. <laughs> Seriously? Don't laugh at me. It's not funny. Okay, well. We can try using the carrot method later. I'll even clear out a spot in the living room so we don't have to do it here in the kitchen. No, no. Too many windows. Don't want the neighbors to see. Oh, but they'll be so impressed with how limber you are. <laughs> Still breach. You can tell. Feel it. someone handing you a germy little yay for breastfeeding card. shorts, mismatched flip-flops, tousled hair. Oh, it was so sexy. <laughs> she had on these uh, little black yoga pants, a worn cranberries t-shirt, messy ponytail. <coughs> Practically loved at first sight if you believe in that kind of thing. At one of our first dates, I asked if he wanted any kids, and he was like, yeah, unless you want like five. Oh, I don't think I could do five. <laughs> I told him two would be fine. Three would be better. <laughs> My cousin had triplets, and I was scared to death of having multiples. The truth is, I would have given her eight if she wanted them. We were lucky to have one at the rate it took to get pregnant. Baby making sex? So not sexy. By the time we finally got two pink lines. Uh, 
Eliza Face Dower, first loss alone. We never heard of a missed miscarriage. We thought we were in the clear. One trimester down, two to go. At my 12 week appointment, I found out our heartbeat had just stopped three weeks ago. My body just wouldn't let it go. Still can't believe I wasn't there to hold her and whisper everything's going to be okay. Thankfully, all it took was a pack of cheap Japanese beer and a few months to get pregnant again. Once our parts knew what to do, I guess it was just easier to get the job done. I was so happy. I wanted to hold her one big, never-ending hug. I was such a prickly pear between the vomiting and the swollen boobs. The last thing I wanted was to be touched. She softened up around the 20-week ultrasound. That's when we found out we were having a little girl. Within seconds, it became her? Only seven more weeks now. I, I can't, can't wait, wait to, to meet her. her. <laughs> My beautiful mama bear. Oh, thanks, babe. Should we talk about the time you work with the uh, C-section? Oh, whatever's best for the baby. Well, she's due on the 25th, which would make her a Sagittarius. <laughs> but, why not Dr. Will so they want to schedule her for the week before to avoid my water breaking? Well, that shouldn't be an issue on my end. I can start my leave whenever. But that means she could be a Scorpio. I think the cusp is the 21st. I don't think I know any Scorpios. Do you know any? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is what keeps you up at night. <laughs> I don't know. Sort of. I mean, is her sign meaningless if it's a scheduled C-section? <laughs> it's, <like> <laughs> it's not like the sun and stars dictated her birth, but he did. I don't want her to have some sort of identity crisis every time she reads a birthday astrology book. <laughs> Those descriptions are so universal, they could apply to literally anyone. I have always found it comforting to blame my split personalities on being a Gemini. Oh, is that why life with you is never boring? <laughs> we don't have strawberry jam? <laughs> no, no, no. no, no, just that uh, fancy thing spread you bought from Whole Foods a few months back. Strawberry jam. I have to go pick up some more coffee beans anyway. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm not that hungry anyway. <laughs> really? Really? You know, Mariano Rivera was born November 29th. <laughs> we are not naming our baby girl Mo, no matter how much you love Mariano. No, no. I mean, he must have been a Sagittarius. Oh, yeah. That's right. Well, then it's settled. I'll try and schedule an appointment for the 22nd or something. <laughs> We've been handling this whole C-section thing a lot better ever since we went to the doctor. Don't confuse defeat with acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> I've just come to terms with it. It's not like I have any other option. It's not like the doctors and the midwives of the hospital have actually delivered a breech baby. I didn't realize there was a battle being waged. I thought we were all on the same team. Of course it's a battle! Didn't you pay attention to the Ricky Lake documentary? <laughs> Most C-sections are completely unnecessary. Well, I hope you still see me as someone on your team, even if I think a C-section is the safest option right now. You sure you don't want anything at the store? Actually, it's... Can you pick up some more strawberry jam? This big spread tastes like dirty mustard. Here, take my hands. I know 
know you're nervous, but you just have to trust yourself. Now, close your eyes and visualize your baby traveling through the birth canal. <laughs> you see her? I'm not really good at this one. <laughs> just relax and focus. <clears throat> vision you have of her. Isn't she magnificent? No, you can do this. Repeat after me. I can do this. I can do this. Now with a little more enthusiasm. <laughs> I can do this. My body is a temple. My body is a temple. And I worship its strength. <laughs> worship its strength. <laughs> now, remember this if you start feeling anxious. Okay, I'll try. There's no reason to worry. You are in complete control of your body. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're doing the right thing. Women have been giving birth for centuries without epidurals or cesareans. I know. You just need to trust your body and the wisdom of women. We're here for you. You're not alone. So, what now? Well, keep focusing on your yoga poses and try to relax. I'll reach out to that midwife I was telling you about <laughs> and explain everything. I'm sure Katie would love to attend the birth here with the time comes. <laughs> so, where would you like to set up your birthing pool? Birthing pool? Oh. Um, I actually gave birth to my second daughter, Minnow, in the woods behind my parents' house. <laughs> it was a beautiful experience. The moonlit sky was covered in stars, and my mother and sister were there guiding me through the lane of pain. I don't think our backyard's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly private and dark next to us to howl. <laughs> don't worry. We can do it right here in the kitchen if you want. We'll keep it real simple, just a few items. Can you send me a list so I can get everything ready? Oh, hey, babe. You remember my duo, Lauren? Of course. How are you doing? <coughs> Things are good. Your wife is going to be great. She is such a strong woman. Yes, definitely the strongest one I know. Would you like some more tea, Lauren? Mm. No, I should be going. I have to pick the girls up from their music lesson. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Sounds good. See ya. See, you might have a new plan. We? Oui. Lauren and I, remember? Shouldn't we talk about that? I told her the baby's brain. She knows the last thing I want is a C-section. Oh, I uh, thought you were feeling a lot more comfortable with it after we met at the hospital. Didn't you like Dr. Wilkes? I thought she had a good head on her shoulders. That was before I talked to Lauren. It sounds like there's a natural option that'd be better for the baby. Better or safer? Lauren said that we can have a midwife deliver her right here at home. She knows when that's delivered a bunch of rich babies. Uh, okay, how many is a bunch? I don't know. Like a bunch. <laughs> you can even set up a little kiddie pool right here in the kitchen. Here, in the kitchen. Well, it's better than outside. And what about everything the doctors told us? <laughs> it was just the doctors trying to scare me. I mean, I was born breech and... And your mother said you came out black and blue because you couldn't breathe. Remember? But I'm fine. And Lauren said the baby will be fine. I can do this. My body's a temple. Gosh, I'm strange. <laughs> Seriously, Eliza. And if it's not? Not what? Not okay. You're willing to put our daughter at risk for some crazy notion of personal validation. Great job, Eliza. You won the award for the world's most amazing natural birth. Too bad your daughter needs a brace for her dislocated shoulder. Don't be me. I am being realistic while you're off in La La Land with the doula. You don't believe in me. I don't believe in ignoring everyone at the hospital. 
I just picked Wilkes because she had a nice smile on her profile pic. She doesn't even know me. And Lauren does? I, I feel more connected to her. That's her job. Like, you hired a personal cheerleader. The doctor's job is to keep you and the baby safe. And avoid lawsuits. Give them a little more credit. There's a reason no doctors or midwives at the hospital will deliver a breech baby. This is my body, and I don't want it cut open. You're incredible. <laughs> I just want what's best for you and the baby. Back when we were making decisions together, I thought you did too. supposed to get here. Should be any time now. I can't wait to meet Katie. I have this vision of her with long gray hair and a flowy aquamarine dress. <laughs> you know, one of those dresses I was always buy and decided to do scene. I just hope she's confident. Lauren wouldn't have recommended her. The flowy dress is just a nice touch. Knock, <laughs> knock. Ooh, let me see them. Uh, hey, how's it going? Great. <laughs> Where's Edie? Oh, she's so sorry she couldn't make it. She got called into a birth at the last week. Hopefully we can arrange a time to have tea this weekend. Are you around Sunday? Yes, shouldn't be a problem. So, how are you feeling, Eliza? I see you got the birthing pool. Yep. End of season sale like Costco. <laughs> I can't believe it was only 1999. Figured we could use it as a sensory station once it gets a little older. I also picked up new organic towels, chanty tarp, and a lead-free hose. You have been busy. Just let me know if you need any help. I'm <laughs> I know uh, Eliza's really excited about this whole new plan, but I have a few questions. Seriously? There is a baby pool in our kitchen. I feel like I'm entitled to a few. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, I thought Eliza had your full support. Oh, she does. Uh, I'm just really struggling with this plan. <clears throat> Eliza wants to deliver naturally. This is the best way to fulfill her vision. Thank you. That's exactly what I have been saying. I just feel like the risks far outweigh the benefits when there's a perfectly safe Eliza's option. choice to deliver naturally is perfectly safe. She'll be in the hands of a midwife who has hands-on experience. How many? How many what? How many breech births has Katie done? Oh, at least two that I know of, plus a set of twins where one of the boys was breeched. By the way, Eliza was talking about it. it. Sounded like she'd done it at least a dozen. Two is a far cry away from a dozen. He never said a dozen. <clears throat> said a bunch. Well, <laughs> three is more than any doctor or midwife at the hospital had done. Do you know how big their heads are? Has she told you how big our little girl's head is? <laughs> uh, Dr. Wilkes said that's probably why she's great. Our 
body. So I were designed to give birth to all the mold themselves to come in all shapes and sizes of these. And what if something goes wrong? It, it can take 45 minutes to get to the hospital from. 45 minutes, Paul? That's a little extreme. That's how long it took on Wednesday when I did a trial run. Why would you do a trial run during rush hour? I don't know. Maybe because you can go into labor at any time? It's okay, Liza. These are important questions. Katie and I will be monitoring you and the baby very closely. At the first sign of stress, we'll be sure to call 911. <clears throat> but that is extremely unlikely. I would just feel a lot safer if we were already at the hospital. Oh, Jesus, Paul, how can you say something like that? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not like the Costco kiddie pool came with a full birthing kit complete with fetal monitor and a team of highly skilled OBs. <laughs> <laughs> this is my body, and I don't want a C-section. You always win every damn argument because you're so rational. <laughs> Why does a rational option always have to be the right one? Why can't you trust my instincts for once? I'm sorry, but it's a little hard to trust the instincts of super hormonal Eliza. Oh, so now it's a woman's thing? <laughs> you know, men have hormonal cycles too. Men don't get pregnant. Well, maybe they should. <laughs> then they have a little more sympathy! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm just really struggling <laughs> with this plan. Well, it seems like you two still have some things to work through. <laughs> I'll check in with you tomorrow. Yes, thank you for being so understanding and supportive. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a walk. Mm, I don't need your help. Do you want me to come with, get you anything? I'm fine. sure to make her a part of our birthing circle. I can't tell you how moving it is to be encircled by strong, open-hearted women while you're in labor. Oh, women's only birthing circle? What about Paul? In my experience, I've found that the papa bears do best when called in right before delivery. The healing hands of women are usually better during the long hours of labor. I'm sure you're right. I just don't want to banish them to the lobby or something. Well, why don't you take just a few days to think about it? In the meantime, I'll let Katie know the change in location. She can't wait to meet you on Sunday. Your little girl is going to appreciate everything you're doing for her. I hope so. Uh, shoot, I'm so sorry. I forgot to offer you some tea. Would you like a cup? Um, lavender honey or chamomile? That would be lovely, thank you. Lavender honey. Okay, let's give you a second. <laughs> Everything is 
going to be fine. Just repeat after me. I can do this. My body is a temple and I worship this strength. If it's Wednesday, he'll be in a meeting with his boss. Is it Wednesday? Eliza, I need you to focus. No, it's Thursday. Because tomorrow is garbage day. Paul will be at his desk. Can you hand me my phone? I don't want to track this stuff all over the place. Eliza, everything is going to be okay. Why don't we move into the other room where you'll be more comfortable and I can take a look at your servants. <sighs> Katie, Katie will need to know how dilated you are. Katie? No, 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 no. Katie's out of the question. We need to go straight to the hospital. The doctor said that if my water broke before 37 weeks, I needed to go straight to the hospital. Eliza, look at you. You are nearly 37 weeks. Your baby is full term. 36 weeks and six days! Don't you want your daughter to experience the joy of traveling through the birth canal? Are you trying to scare me? Of course not. I am here for you and the baby. I just want to make sure you have the natural childbirth you've always envisioned. That's been our goal all along. My goal is to have a healthy baby. And you can, right here at home, just like we planned. You told me to listen to my inner voice. And right now, it is screaming, get your ass straight to the hospital. <laughs> and his feet pop out. <laughs> Women all over the world give birth to healthy babies every minute of every day right in their homes. Once you walk into that hospital, you'll be signing your daughter's roots away to the business of being born. Who are you? Quoting Ricky Lake to me right now. <laughs> I was giving birth prematurely in the middle of my kitchen floor with a midwife I've never met and a doula who refuses oh. to listen to me. Well, that sounds fat, shit, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if I wasn't here, who would advocate for the well being of you and your baby? Me. Me, 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 in the way I see it. The only thing you're good for right now is a lift to the hospital. She said, uh, keep it upbeat, very Cindy Lauper esque. <laughs> the first few songs were awesome! Total girl rock anthems. Hit me with your best shot, girls just want to have fun, get my mind off the long needles and scalpels. I couldn't even remember everything I'd put on it. I mean, we were expecting hours of contractions, not a 30 minute C section. <clears throat> the final moments of anticipation. As Paul squeezed my arm, most deaths, sex, love, and money. <laughs> Brown Sugar is like her favorite movie. Most deaths, Casablanca impression cracks her up every time. This song totally cracked me up. So not what I'm not giving birth to. When they were uh, lifting her up, the nurses goaded me into trimming the umbilical cord. Our little girl was all pink goo and dark hair. Most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Within a minute, they had her on my chest as they sewed up the giant hole in my uterus. <laughs> <laughs> we were just crying and stroking her little head. It's like we were the only ones in the room. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the whole boob latching thing went great. <laughs> she gained like a whole two ounces before we even left the hospital. Thank you for breastfeeding, Mariah. <laughs>